the new year's next year, 2023, I want you to reflect back from 2019 when COVID started to now, what have you done? Three years have flown by. You have not been effective. You have procrastinated the last three years. And I think this, this should end today because I'm going to give you the seven habits of highly effective men that I want you to start implementing tomorrow and not drop the ball through the year. See where this takes us. Number one, you always show up. This is important. In any situation, you show up. See, in life, and I'm telling you, I've had a long career, bro. I've, I've done this in 17. I'm now 28. This is 11 years of building, over a decade. So I can speak from experience, right? With, when, you, when, when you're having hyper growth, that's cake work, bro. You can show up four in the morning every day. Money's rolling in. Motivation's high. When that slows down, and now you have to figure something else out to go into the next level, that's hard. When everything is getting difficult, and you can't breathe, you can't think, you're in quicksand, that's difficult. That's when most people quit. But you need to always show up. And this is why I always tell you, forget about your emotions. Forget about your motivation. Forget about if you're sad, if you're happy, if you got heartbroken. Forget about all of it. And only focus on the end goal and operate thinking about the end goal, whether in the good times or the bad times. And this kind of rolls me to number two. Don't put an emotion onto things, right? An easy way to, because every time I tell people, all right, don't be emotional, it's hard to process that because you still, I feel emotions every day. You will still feel them. This is not invalidating emotions. They're very real. How do you get away from that? And the easiest thing that I found is try to avoid putting emotions onto things, right? Like it's so easy that when something bad happens, you think, oh, this is bad. And when something good happens, it's good. It's like we have a classification system in our brain. It's natural. What if you could stop doing that, right? Let's say your bank account hit zero, right? Or negatives. The first thing you're going to think in your head, oh crap, this is terrible. Oh, how am I going to pay? It's the first thing, right? What if you could just think it's just is? Oh, my bank account just is zero. Now, how do I bring it up, right? On the flip side, your bank account just hit a million dollars. What do you do? You celebrate, you party, you almost forget about work, right? You start doing everything crazy. You're buying, you're spending, you're swiping the card. But what if you could control those emotions and think, yo, your bank account hit a million. It's just, is. it's a number. How do we keep growing? right? How can you maintain that level of neutrality? I heard somebody explain it with the weather, right? When it rains, you're like, oh crap, it's raining. It's going to be a crappy day. You already ruined it, right? When it's sunshine, you're thinking, oh man, it's a beautiful day. What, a what if you could just be neutral? If it rains, it rains. It just is. If it's sun, it's sunny. It just is. Try to remove emotion out of things and this will make you less emotional as a man. Number three, be responsible. I need you as a man to take responsibility of everything in your life, what you can and cannot control. See, too many men just react to life, right? When something bad happens or let's say you are born poor, right? That's something you cannot control. None of us can control that. If you were all born poor, it is what it is. But what ends up happening? 99% of men will just react to that and think, oh, kind of like the last thing, right? Life's not fair. I'm poor. They're rich. There's not enough money. I'll always stay here. That's just how you lose, bro. You need to be proactive to everything in life. A girl rejects you. Okay, now you're proactively thinking. First of all, what was wrong with me? Maybe it was just personal taste. Maybe I'm not her type. That's the best option. It could also be you're not that guy, right? You're not there yet. You haven't built yourself up. You're too skinny. You're not strong. You don't have a high status. You haven't worked hard enough. There's nothing of merit to you, right? There's so many things that could have gone wrong, but if you're proactive about it, now you fix, right? You don't just react, cry, crumble, and then think, man, how can I get her back? And then look up videos on how to get a girl that just rejected you. Look, I, I've done those videos. You can go watch them. And I always tell you the same thing. You, you don't. You don't. There are ways to do it, but you just really don't. At the end of the day, the best thing you can do is build yourself up as a man. You have to be proactive. You have to take responsibility for everything that's happening in your life. Number four, have a clear goal. The way you're responsible and you take accountability is by having clear goals in every, in every area of your life. When you have a clear goal, it's easy to always have that in your mind. And no matter what, whatever's happening in life, whatever's breaking down, I still know what I want. And the problem with most of you is that you don't know what I want. If I were to tell you right now, what is your goal? Write it down. Put it in the comments right now. You got, you got two seconds. You're probably thinking about it. Uh, you, you have no clear goal. You have no clear direction. So you end up being basically a blind man mindlessly going through life. And that's why three years have passed since COVID, right? And you still have done nothing. 
you still have not moved forward. You have not progressed. You have not challenged yourself. Shoot, you probably haven't even failed at anything. I would rather see you fail at things over the last three years because it shows you at least we're trying something. And if you have none of that, you are one of those men that don't have a clear goal. Now, the great part about this is that it's easy to fix, right? You can do it right now. By the end of this video, you should sit down. What do you want with your life? Where do you see you, yourself in five to 10 years? That's your goal. And then every time something bad happens or something good happens, it's all the same. Remember, right? No emotion. You still think about that end goal. Are we there yet? Five, strengthen your foundation. Your body, it's your ship. So I want you to build it on rocks. So when the wind comes and the storms come, it's sturdy. It's on a solid foundation, not like the men that build it on sand. When they have hard times, when the wind comes and the storms come, their houses will blow away. So I want you to practice habits that develop and strengthen your physical, your mental, your emotional, and your spiritual well-being. I want you to build a foundation that's bulletproof. Takes me to number six, have discipline. And this is important at all times. And if you listen to me in the beginning, and do what I say, having discipline is going to become easier, right? Because the, the hard part with discipline is all the emotions that you stir up that you don't want to do things at certain times. When you take emotion out of it, doing it at all times becomes easy. See, I want you to have discipline in the good times. Because in the good times, when there's excess, when, there's, when, there, when you're plentiful, it's so easy to forget that there's some hungry dude that doesn't have it all, that is working day and night to take what you have to take what you've built, to take the spot that you want. And on the flip side, when you're down, right? When you're choked up, it feels like you're on quicksand, that whatever you do is failing, you're, you're, you're hitting zero. You should show the same level of discipline, of production, of work ethic, because it would show no weakness. It would show that you're not bleeding out. See, humans have this tendency, and this is animalistic in nature, right? When they see that you are weakened up, it's almost like they'll re-energize. It happens in athletics all the time. When you see the other team is choked out, they can't breathe, they've gassed out, it's almost like you'll regain the surge of energy because now you know it's the time to eat. Right? You can't show that type of weakness in your life. This happens in the animal culture as well. I remember I had, so I love dogs. I've always had dogs. At one point I had like three dogs, actually four dogs. And one of them was hurting really bad and I could see she was not acting herself. I take her to the vet and she basically said, you know, your dog will never cry. And, and even though she, she ha her leg was not okay, she's like, she'll never cry because in, in nature, when an animal is whining or crying or limping, it's a sign of weakness and another predator will see that and capitalize that man. We're still animals, bro. That's how they are in the real world. Finally, number seven, I need you to stay focused. Staying focused and remaining optimistic in life will be important. And again, the goal will help you do this. I'm trying to show you in your life and these seven steps, how to get to that, right? Because it's so easy to tell you, be disciplined, stay focused, work hard. I'm trying to get you to do those things. And to do them, you break it down by having a goal. Again, the easiest way to do that. If your goal is, I want to make a hundred grand a year, a million a year. I want to graduate by 2025. I want to be this by, right? Whatever that goal is, at any point in your life, in the good times and in the bad times, right? When you finally get the girl. Because it's so easy for men that once they have the girl, they forget about the goals, they let themselves go, now they're fat and they're losers, and then they end up losing the girl. So in the good times and in the bad times, always have a goal at the top of your head and continually work towards that. That's how you stay focused. 